Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. This story is called Koala Lou. It is written by Mem Fox and it is illustrated by Pamela Lofts. When Mem and Pamela got together to write this book, to put it all together, they did something very interesting. They put the words on one page with a little picture and then on the next page there was this beautiful picture that really made you understand the words. So I'm going to go slow as we go through this book because I want you to be able to look at the pages and really think about the pictures. I call this book a tearjerker. That means that it makes me emotional and I shed a little tear when I read this book. I bet if your mother is listening with you, she may do the same. We'll see if you do. Koala Lou written by Mem Fox, illustrated by Pamela Lofts. There once was a baby koala so soft and round that all who saw her loved her. Her name was Koala Lou. She's kind of cute, don't you think? The emu loved her, the platypus loved her, and even tough little koala claws next door loved her. There are all the animals that love her. But it was her mother who loved her most of all. A hundred times a day she would laugh, shake her head and say, Koala Lou, I do love you. Whenever she stretched in the early morning sun or climbed a gum tree or bravely went down the path all by herself, her mother would smile and say, Koala Lou, I do love you. The years passed and other koalas were born, brothers and sisters for Koala Lou. Soon her mother was so busy she didn't have time to tell Koala Lou that she loved her. Although of course she did. Look at Koala Lou's face. Every night, as she curled up under the stars, Koala Lou thought about the times when her mother had looked at her and said, Koala Lou, I do love you. And she longed for her to say it again. One night, Koala Lou had a splendid idea. Preparations had begun for the Bush Olympics. She would enter the Olympics. She would compete in the gum tree, climbing event and she would win and her mother would fling her arms around her neck and say again, Koala Lou, I do love you. Whoops, sorry guys. Sometimes her mother would just watch her and ask, how are you going, Blossom? Fine, just fine, Koala Lou would reply. My goodness, she climbs a tall tree. At last, the day of the Bush Olympics arrived. Look at all the people there. Or animals, I should say animals. Koala Claus, who had also entered the, entered the gum tree climbing event, and everyone knew how fast she was. But Koala Lou wasn't scared. She saw her mother in the crowd and imagined her saying again, Koala Lou, I do love you. And her heart filled with hope.
It was Koala Claus who went first. Her climb was a record-breaking 22 meters in 70 seconds flat. The spectators whistled and cheered wildly and waved their party hats. almost hear the excitement, can't you? Can I do better than that? wondered Koala Lou. I must! As she stepped toward the tree, a hush fell over the crowd. On your mark, said the kookaburra. Get set! Go! Koala leapt onto the tree. Up and up and up and up. She climbed higher and higher and higher and higher and faster and faster and faster until she was right there, right at the very top. The spectators roared and clapped and stamped their feet. But she wasn't fast enough. In spite of all of her training and all of her hoping, it was Koala Claus who won the gum tree climbing. Koala Lou came in second. Koala Lou went off and hid. She heard the shouts of the Bush Olympics and she cried her heart out. When the first starts of the evening appeared in the sky, Koala Lou crept home through the dark and up into the gum tree. Her mother was waiting for her. Before she could say a word, her mother had flung her arms around her neck and said, Koala Lou, I do love you. I always have and I always will. And she hugged her for a very long time.